Hello YouTube, it's uh, Wednesday, April 26th, 4.52 p.m. That person making a left right there where the sign says no left turn. I, I've got my own personal analysis on that no left turn there. And uh, I, should, I should explain that sometime when I'm actually driving through it. Of course, I'm not doing any driving right now. Still haven't got my goddamn car back. So, not sure, uh, not sure what's up with that. Um... Well, actually, I kind of know what's up with that. I, I, I called Rob, uh, and he did answer today. Um, so he's got three... So apparently the delay is a... Uh, is some kind of a pressurized hose in the air conditioning system. So he had the air conditioning charged up, and that it was working good, blowing cold, and then suddenly, boom, and, and a pressurized fitted hose blew out so um which i guess is you know to be expected considering how old the car is and the fact that it's as far as i can tell it's always been in phoenix where things that are made of plastic or rubber tend to deteriorate faster due to uh due to um just the dryness and the heat so um uh, that one girl who crossed the street at the time I did is really, really cute. I was, I was thinking that that her and that guy were looked better dressed to be part of that whole homeless crowd that hangs out at the edge of the park, but they walked directly into that. So, um, on the way through here, I saw, I saw a, uh, a what do you call it, a Phoenix Park Ranger drive by. So I thought maybe he was running running those people off from littering the park, but there's still a bunch of them on that corner, as y'all saw. Uh, sorry, I just completely lost my train of thought looking over there. I was thinking to myself how damn cute she is, but, you know, I, I, I think a lot of the, the the cute homeless women that I see are probably just really, really young. And... Who knows, maybe they come from just bad home life situations. They don't want to be living with their parents, so they're just, you know, homeless. Uh, I mean, I guess technically that's the situation with my older daughter. As far as I know, she's living out of her car, and that's because she finds that more appealing than living with me because I've told her I don't want any... Uh, any drugs in my home, and also because my home is an absolute mess. Well, shopping carts full of garbage there at QT. Their security had been doing a much better job of running those those type of people off their property, but whole group of them right there today. So I'm not quite sure how I'm getting to work right now. Um, having some questionable issues with, oh, you know, I still don't have the car. Oh, did I explain? What was, I was trying to explain what was going on with the car. That's what was going on before I got distracted by. Cute, unusually clean homeless girl and just the whole homeless riffraff that exists between my, uh, yeah, go ahead and ignore the, Pedestrians, asshole. Um, now the homeless riffraff that exists between 46th Street and 44th Street along Oak. Um, wow, nice truck. That's cool. Alright, and there's the police. He's busy turning left to go to God knows where on 44th Street. Instead of just going down Oak Street to do something about all the people that are doing drugs right there at the edge of the park. Because that doesn't seem to be anything the police have an issue with these days. Um, so about the car thing. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, I can't see if there's a bus coming or not. It looks like there might be. Um... So yeah, fitted hose blew out. Uh, he says he's already had three of them delivered to his shop. 
that have been no good. Um, he said they just didn't fit right. I, the last time I went through the issue with fitted hoses needing to fit right uh, for air conditioning was with my CRX. Um, I had a I had a difficult time trying to find uh, trying to find hoses for my CRX and fit correctly. I ended up getting one off of a junked one, but um, yeah, I had I was still driving the CRX, so I had to drive. Uh, I just drove to several junkyards myself. So right now I'm not driving, so that's that's not the situation at all. I'm trusting Rob to to secure one. Anyhow, he uh, um, he told me that he's had three delivered that were not the right one, and he's sick of that, and that he sent the old one out to somebody to have one custom made. Which sometimes is how you have to get things like that for older cars that don't have certain parts readily available for them. Um, which is, tells me it's probably going to be fucking expensive. Um, but the bigger deal than that is God knows when I'm going to get it. Uh, he seemed pretty confident that, that it would show up tomorrow. But of course at this point it's out of his hands and in somebody else's hands. Yeah, I thought I saw the bus heading south here. It looks like there's a bus up there. You know what? I think I'm going to just cut this off right now. So i got to figure out my transportation options from, from here to uh, here to the light rail. Uh, it's uh, it's 4.59 right now, so a little bit later than I like it to be. I like to kind of be here by about 4.30-ish. So um, I know I'm out of credits on Lime, and I may, I'm not sure if that transaction will go through trying to get another Lime pass. And I didn't have a lot of luck getting getting my banking apps to work on Obama Phone 4 to figure out what the hell the deal is with all that. So, yeah, that sucks. I do know I have a $10 ride credit with Waymo. So, yeah, I need to, I need to wrap this up. And uh, Oh, and I don't know if I've mentioned it. So the deal with Waymo and me getting a ride home, um, Waymo's service area cuts off at 44th Street. And it doesn't seem to include anything on 44th Street. It literally cuts off at 44th Street. So any destination on the east side of 44th Street, which would be most of the shopping through here, um, most of the shopping over is, you know, there at uh, um, Arcadia Crossing. It's on the uh, east side of 44th Street. Yeah, Waymo doesn't go to the east side of 44th Street, full stop. It goes up and down 44th Street. It goes things goes to the west side of 44th Street. But as you see, there's not a whole, you know, it's mostly houses on the west side of 44th Street. So, um, yeah, that kind of sucks for me. So you get transportation services and, and doesn't go there. Um, so the block I live on, which is the 4700 East Block, is a real anomaly. Uh, anomaly for electric scooters because apparently both uh, spin and um, spin and lime are geofenced and do not operate east of 46th street and I looked up the bird app by the way the bird app will not run on my Obama phone I tried to install it it just said it's not compatible with my device so that sucks um but it still works fine on Obama Phone 3, so I, I used it to check out the, the service map and availability of scooters for my home Wi-Fi. Of course, I have no service on Obama Phone 3. That thing barely works. Um, and, and that's definitely a bus to the north of me. Um, of course, I don't know if it's a bus for the 44 or if it's a not-in-service bus. So it seems like about half... Half or maybe even more of the buses that run on 44th Street through here are not in service buses, which are deadheading. I had a driver comment on on my uh, on one of my videos, on my YouTube videos, that oh yeah, he did that. It's it's deadheading. I understand what deadheading is, but he didn't really address my argument, which is why deadhead when that can be part of the route, part of a route. Um, but I, I get a feeling just a lot of drivers don't don't question that. They just accept the status quo of driving down a street past people that need rides and not providing service. Now, speaking of service, 
It's just not in service. So I had a driver explain that the reason they say not in service is they're deadheading to other routes. Yeah, but that's the second non-service bus. Oh, there's a lot of them here. Yeah, about every oh, no, about every two thirds of them on this street. Oh, you think that maybe the sign's not working? Because sometimes that happens too. Yeah, I don't know. To me, it's really screwed up. If the bus goes down this street, it should provide service on the street full stop. Well, there's there's there's, there's a few buses that come off of. No. Uh huh. And then they go down the street. That's the train depot, not the bus depot. No, there's no bus depot there. Oh, you mean over on 52nd Street? Yeah, they come down this way to get to uh, none of the buses that run in this area operate out of that depot. All the buses that run in this area, all, all the buses that operate in, in this area operate out of the depot, which was at 79th Avenue in McDowell. I understand. Yeah, all the ones out of that depot only operate in uh, Tempe and Mesa. I mean, I know that depot is there, but when you see a bus going down here, they're not going to that depot. None of the buses that run here operate out of that depot. Huh? From what I've seen, the majority of them, they end the route, like you're saying, off of Thomas, and then they drive down this stretch of 44th Street. And then go to the highway? And take no, the they go to McDowell Road. They turn right on McDowell Road, and then they become a 16 heading a down McDowell. You're right, a 17. My bad. Yeah, they become a 17 heading down McDowell from 44th Street to 43rd <laughs> Avenue. Yeah, that one does the same thing. It comes down as a no service. No, I think that one becomes a three. I think that one goes down. That one goes all the way down 44th Street, and then it goes to Van Buren, and then it turns right, and it's not in service all the way to 32nd Street, at which point on 32nd Street it becomes a route three. Which begs the question, why all these buses, when they drive up and down 44th Street, don't operate as a 44 until... But as you see, it's not enough. What's wrong with that? I don't need to be north of Camelback. I just need to go that way. Yeah, but most people don't go that far. Most people just use it. Most people need it. It is their problem. They're here to provide service for us. That's not enough. How, how is it? A, how is it enough? How is that enough for Phoenix? Plan your day better. Shit. <laughs> I only have 24 hours in a day. I don't need to spend uh, 90, 90 minutes, an hour and a half of that each direction, trying to do bus transfers because they only run every every 30 minutes. I mean, why don't they plan their buses better? If they have a bus that goes by the stop every 10 minutes, wow. that bus could be providing service. Even the bus passengers accept that as the status quo. It just blows my mind. It wouldn't be hard to schedule those buses as providing service. Anyway, I didn't want to put that woman on camera, but um, <laughs> I don't. I don't know if you guys saw her when I was like walking in there the other way, but she's, uh, yeah, she's she's a stereotype of somebody that's waiting for the bus with uh, kids and hoping CPS doesn't roll up on her. Uh, anyway, I'm going to wrap this up right now uh, and check the bus app and see if there actually is a bus coming soon that isn't a not-in-service bus and, and uh, see if I can maybe get Waymo to show up and pick me up at this corner. And I'll be back with more soon. Thanks for watching.